Hello, my name is Katherine Fullman, and this is the pro-legalization of psilocybin in Texas for medical use debate for Health Law and Ethics 4375. I'd like to begin with explaining what psilocybin is, some history on it, and why it should be legalized in the state of Texas for medical use. So psilocybin is a psychedelic drug found in polyphyletic mushrooms. These are more commonly known as magic mushrooms. After ingestion, it usually results in um, emotional and cognitive changes, which are frequently referred to as hallucinations. Some people experience uh, hallucinating things or um, emotional euphoria. It's frequently associated with recreational use in the 1960s and 1970s for its hallucinogenic effect. Um, and unfortunately, this resulted in um, psilocybin being classified as a Schedule I drug in the 1970s. Being classified as a Schedule I drug meant that the United States government felt that psilocybin had little to no uh, medical benefit whatsoever. And after some research was done in the early 2000s, we actually realized that psilocybin had a lot of potential to help people, specifically people who are struggling with severe mental illness. Uh, more specifically, uh, anxiety disorder, severe depression, and PTSD. It's also been shown to help people who are struggling with addiction. Because there are, uh, because there is research as well as clinical trials that prove that psilocybin is a safe and effective treatment for these mental illnesses, um, it should be legalized for medical use in the state of Texas so that it can help as many people as possible and that so that people have options for treatment. To give a little insight on how many people could benefit from the use of psilocybin, I'd like to give some, give some statistics from the National Institute of Health. In 2017, approximately 11 million adult Americans experienced a severe major depressive episode. 5.7% of Americans experience an anxiety disorder during their lifetime, and about 3.6% of Americans experience PTSD in 2020. Knowing that there are so many people who are affected by severe mental illness, and also knowing that psilocybin is an effective treatment for those mental illnesses, gives a little insight on why legalizing this drug for medical use could really help people. While there are a lot of treatments, antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications on the market right now, some people would benefit from trying something else, for example, psilocybin, to see if that might be more effective um, and fit their needs better. Psilocybin um, reacts with serotonin and dopamine receptors, and that's why it's so effective when it comes to um, PTSD, anxiety, and depression. depression. Uh, one clinical trial specifically um, tested the effects of psilocybin on people who um, were experiencing depression. And some of those people actually ended up uh, deciding to opt for psilocybin over their current antidepressants because it was more effective and they preferred the way that they felt um, after using psilocybin instead of their antidepressants. Because of the stigma that's frequently surrounding psilocybin, there is this um, idea that psilocybin is toxic or highly addictive and it's actually non-toxic and has very, very low potential for um, addiction, which also makes it a really great treatment option for people. I'd also like to reiterate that psilocybin, for this debate, I am only saying that it should be legalized for medical use. So with that in mind, anybody that is prescribed psilocybin would actually be monitored by their physician. Um, you know, as people 
come in for uh, to their doctor's appointments. Um, there would be a medical professional to make sure that they're doing fine when it comes to psilocybin. So not only is it non-addictive or, yeah, has low potential for addiction and it's non-toxic, um, there's still going to be a medical, medical professional to make sure that everybody stays safe when it comes to this drug. There are years and years of clinical trials done by universities and private institutions that provide evidence that psilocybin is an effective treatment. With all of this in mind, knowing that um, so many people are affected by severe mental illness, knowing that this is an effective uh, treatment for those mental illnesses, and um, knowing that there would be a demand for it because so many people are in need of this drug, just proves that um, psilocybin should be legalized for medical use in the United in Texas, um, and that it would actually help a lot of people. And it is classified as a Schedule One drug based on some false ideas from uh, an entirely different era. Um, and that's caused the stigma that's resulted in us um, losing years of being able to see the medical potential for this drug. Um, but now we do know what it can do and we can help a lot of people. Thank you and I appreciate you guys listening.